but once again, my name is Stephen Seidel. I'm with We Love Soaps. I want to say thank you guys for uh, taking some time out, and welcome back. Definitely. How, you, how are you doing? Welcome back, Michael. Welcome back. <laughs> We're doing good. Doing good. How are you? Good. Wonderful. Um, and Kimberly, I wanted to say, I know this was back in the day. I used to watch Breaking It, and I watched Breaking It, too, and I know that you were involved in that, so thank you for that. Break and into Electric Boogaloo. I used to own all of those VHS tapes, and I would watch them and learn how to break dance. I actually break danced in third grade talent awesome. show, so I, I used some of your moves, so thank you for that. No problem. <laughs> <laughs> and Michael, thank you. I've been to Guys and Dolls and several place clubs in L.A. that uh, you know, you've been affiliated with, so you guys are amazing, very inspirational. Getting back to the soap so aspect of things. Uh, how does it feel to be back, uh, for both of you, to be back together, working together once again? How, how does that feel for the two of you? For, for me, it was really cool. You know, I've been back on the show for about five years, and uh, uh, Robin has continued to talk about Stone and think about Stone, so it was a great surprise to me to actually have Michael back on the show and, and be able to experience that relationship again was really cool. Wonderful. Yeah, and was Michael, for you, you kind of stepped out of the, uh, the soap and acting scene for a while to be back. You know, does it just come right back or does it take a little bit of time to get back into the character? You know, I, I think we had been through the trenches, you know, and, and got to such a heavy place emotionally together that we tapped, you know, right back into it. It was pretty special. Um, it, it, was, it was shocking. Is there, <laughs> is there something, are there certain things that, uh, that aren't the same, maybe for you as a person and as a character that you bring to the table, maybe life experiences, or is, there, is it, could it, is it going to be the same type of feel, do you, do you think, the chemistry between both Robin and Stone as well? Well, I think with the chemistry, the chemistry was, was there back 15 years ago, and I think it's still there now. The, the acting and the craft back then, 15 years ago, for me, I had to actually live that character to be able to perform mm -hmm. that. And so it, was, it took its toll on me. It just was very draining, and we wanted to do it right and to mm -hmm. be accurate, and just the delicacy in which you know, we, we, we had the responsibility to portray this. And to tackle the HIV AIDS storyline, and there's also, uh, had, did you receive letters and, and fan mail? How, how did the fans receive that? And have you been receiving any response from fans excited to see you, know, you back together, uh, being an inspiration for them? Well, back then, um, I had a lot of people, and I'm sure you had the same thing, uh, fans coming up to me and just hugging me. Just so, just, just grateful um, for the story. Yeah. Um, it was, it was, it was more, it, you know, it's a different energy. It wasn't the like, oh my God, I'm so excited kind of thing. It was just like, ah, thank you. Like, it, you know, it's, this has meant a lot, um, which is really cool. Um, and I think now people are just excited to see, you know, one of their favorite stories kind of, you know, you know living again. Resurface. Yeah, resurface, so yeah. And, and so far, as far as you as actors, um, is, do you consider yourself role models? Do you think that you should be taken <laughs> apart no. to, be, to be a role model? No, you don't think so at all? Like, these no. young kids, these young girls that watch some of the things that happen, you don't think that you should be <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> um, no, I mean, I, I. Are you talking about what I think you're talking about? <laughs> uh, we can be as ambiguous as you like, but uh, uh, just, just in general, I, I feel as performers, as, as actors, you have this visibility, you have this connection, especially now um, with social media, which is another question of mine. Do you think mm. that the social media is going to ultimately become a play uh, in, you know, soaps and, and how they transform and the storylines arc? Is that going to have, have a play in the, you know, maybe the future of television, so to speak? Yeah, well, I mean, Facebook is a soap opera. I mean, you're in a relationship, you're out of a relationship. I mean, that's what it is, you know. Um, Changing your status. Yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a soap. Um, but uh, I, I, I do think that if you're in the public eye, yes, you should conduct yourself appropriately, absolutely. Um, and in a way, you know, I definitely became sort of a, you know, a spokesperson, if you will, um, for HIV and AIDS and have been given the opportunity to raise a lot of money for the cause. So, you know, in that way, you know, we're grateful 
we're grateful for that, that we've at least be, been in, put in a position to do something good, to do good work, but also to, to do good. So I think that's, that yeah. was a really cool aspect of the story. And for you, Michael, uh, what advice do you have for, you know, some fans that are coming back on board and they want to learn more and, you know, they're just wanting to get more involved uh, in the entertainment aspect and, and both, both the viewership? How can they, you know, find out more information and, and continue to enjoy uh, the relationship between, you know, Stone and Robin? You know, how can they come on board and make it seamless, so to speak, as if you had never left? Yeah, well, I mean, like you were, you know, kind of insinuating about technology and how it's interactive now. I mean, I went on YouTube last night and <laughs> saw stuff that was uh, from 15 years ago that I had never even seen. Yeah. And, um, you know, obviously that was on, like, VHS back then, so the quality wasn't good. But nowadays, you know, they're, yeah. And, and, and so I think now it's going to connect all the generations, and I think people are curious. And I saw some blogs and posts about, you know, well, how did our characters meet, and what's the relationship with Sonny? And, you know, being that, you know, Robin and Sonny are on the show still, and people are now interested about, you know, well, how did it all come about? Yeah, you can and actually see it. We're connecting 15 years mm -hmm. of drama uh, this this week coming up. Um, so it's pretty fascinating, you know, just to have a demographic that's that far spread. Mm -hmm. And will, will there be a blog, uh, uh, you know, a Robin and the Stone blog that we can learn more information and get more into the details or maybe... That's a great idea. For General <laughs> Hospital or some sort so we can kind of get into the minds and see where you're coming from. I guess maybe not for Robin, you might not be able to blog from a well, but... Uh, <laughs> I know, I don't want, was Robin blogging anymore? I don't know. I, I think we're almost out of time. I have like a couple more quick questions. Okay. What advice do you have for upcoming, you know, actors and entertainers who are wanting to get involved uh, in soaps and you know potentially wanting oh. to become actors themselves? Uh, I th I think um, being on a soap is is a gr is a wonderful job. It's a great career. It's a great training ground. Um, I would absolutely suggest um, someone getting into that. What do you have, yeah, any, have any advice? Ha having stepped out of it for a while and, and, and doing some films, you really appreciate what people do on daytime, mm -hmm. the amount of work and, and commitment um, and time frame to deliver that kind of product in that mm -hmm. short of time is remarkable. And I think that, you know, oh, I would, I would okay, encourage anyone. If I could tell craft services to uh, bring over your favorite sandwiches, what are your favorite sandwiches? Oh, man, really? Yeah. Um, I like, to, this is weird, but I like tuna sandwiches with Parmesan cheese on them. Okay, craft services. And for, how about you, from, how about you Michael? <laughs> I'd have to go with like something from Nate and Al's, like some corned beef or something like that. <laughs> corned beef, okay. I and wouldn't then, have guessed that about you. I have, this is just a personal question. I'd like to know the first concert that you've ever attended. Oh, uh, I got a good one. Who was it? Bobby Brown, and he was a huge Bobby General Brown. Hospital fan, and he gave me a kiss on the cheek, and I didn't wash my face for like two weeks, and he gave me uh, a long stem rose. I was, uh -huh. can you tell? I was really excited. Uh, well, I can't wait to see this. Top that. And, uh, ho hopefully Whitney. I'm afraid to date myself. <laughs> with my, Maybe she my... doesn't do any guest stars. She'll be in trouble. <laughs> How about you, Michael? Uh, Your well, first concert. The first concert, I, if I'm correct, was I think something like Oingo Boingo. Yeah. Oingo Boingo. That's is? awesome. Yes. That's going back. Yeah. Well, thank you guys awesome. very much. Uh, speaking of music, I look forward to seeing the music come back between both Robin and Stone. Uh, we appreciate everything. <laughs> we love soaps, and we wish you guys the best of luck, and we look forward to seeing you guys back on screen again. Thank you. Cool. For thank you very much. Thanks for the good questions. <laughs> thank you.